an extremely personal topic. So when it's brought up in the workplace, naturally, some arguments tend to ensue, but for good reason. How would you feel if your boss decided to discontinue your health insurance because they said it was against their religion? Most employees, I assume, would not be all right with that, but it's a realistic situation, and it brings up the question, do First Amendment rights to exercise of religion apply to corporations? And my answer is no, for various reasons. The first of which is that there are exceptions built into federal laws, so it's not necessary. The second is that the principle that this was based on was found to be unconstitutional. And the third is that it may encourage discrimination. The entire Constitution, and the First Amendment especially, was created to help and protect the United States people. No one wants corporations to have to follow rules that offend them and their employees or go against their morals. So loopholes were created in federal laws to avoid this. It makes it possible for corporations to apply to not have to follow the laws. And the criteria is pretty strict, but this ensures that the corporations that actually need the help will get it. According to an article written by Barry Zalma on LexisNews.com, there are four factors that must be proven in order to get this application. The first is the likeliness of success. The second is that the party in question will suffer irreparable damage if they're denied. The third is that the preliminary relief given won't like, result in worse damage in the future. And the fourth is that public interest supports it. <coughs> this principle exists so corporations don't need to back a specific religion in order to value, like, keep their values protected and the values of their employees protected. Because of this, Having corporations declare a religion just isn't necessary. The act that originally brought up the question of if corporations should have religion was the F Religious Freedom Restoration Act of 1993, or the RFRA. USlegal.com states that the purpose of this act was to protect religious individuals and organizations from infringement of federal powers on their faith practices. However, this act was found unconstitutional. So logically, if the basis of an argument is unconstitutional, then the argument itself probably is too. The case that recently brought this act to light was that of the Hans. The Han family owns a cabinet-making corporation, and it has over 950 employees. They tried to avoid giving their employees health insurance because they were Mennonite, and the type of insurance man mandatory included covering some types of contraceptions and abortions, which was against their religion. They lost the case, though, which furthers the point that corporations don't have the right to religion. But it also brings up a question of if, like, if it will actually help the employees or not, which brings us to the next point. Discrimination. It's a principle that's been fought in the workplace for many years, and adding religion to the mix I don't think would help anyone. On the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission's website, the fact that religion can't be a factor in hiring is stated. So if a corporation can have a specific religion, but it can't hire people from that religion exclusively, then the rules that are made by the corporation in regard to their religious beliefs might benefit some workers, but might hinder the successfulness of others, which is obviously unfair and probably unconstitutional. Adding religion to corporations may help the leaders of them, but it's not going to help the employees, so I don't think it should be allowed. The question, do First Amendment rights to exercise of religion apply to corporations, has a lot of discussion around it. But my answer is no, because there are exceptions to laws that make it unnecessary. The act that the principle was based on in the first place was considered unconstitutional, so the act in general can't be constitutional and because in some cases, it may lead to job discrimination. So in my opinion, since religion is such a personal topic, it should be kept out of the workplace and should stay in homes and churches.